Good morning. So the other day I got this comment that said, Hey Michael, could you do a video on how to make the camera automatically look at something in a reel? I always struggle to get smooth camera movement. And it's actually very easy. So today I'm going to show you exactly that. A super easy way to control your camera in Unreal Engine 5.5 by using empty actors and the look at feature. So let's jump right in. So in my scene, I already have two cameras. Let's start by creating a new camera. We'll go up here to cinematics, cine camera actor, and let's place it somewhere interesting. So I'm adding a new cine camera actor and naming it camera 003. This keeps my camera naming consistent so I can quickly tell which camera is which later on. Let's enter the camera view and position it where we want it to be. I'm also just gonna change the aspect ratio and the camera focal length. Next, we're going to add a empty actor. We can find the empty actor under basics, actor. Let's position it somewhere close to our target. And naming it camera 003 underscore look at. I do this so the name clearly tells me two things. It belongs to camera 003 and that it is the look at target for that camera. Let's connect the camera look at to the camera. Now select your cam 003 camera in the details panel. Scroll all the way up to the look at tracking section. For the target, choose the cam 003 underscore look at empty actor. Next, let's enable the checkbox for enable look at tracking. The moment you do this, the camera will snap and rotate to face that empty actor automatically. So let's start controlling the camera and adding some keyframes. Let's drag both actors down to the sequencer so we can keyframe them. Let's create a keyframe at the first position, then move a few seconds forward and then move the empty actor. Let's have a look at the result. And you can now see that the camera automatically tracks the empty actor. This is great because instead of fiddling with the camera's rotation manually, I can just move this simple target to control where the camera is looking. If you want smoother movement, check the interpolation settings in the look at section. By default, it's set to zero, which will snap the look at instantly to the actor. If I increase the value to something like 10, it will basically be the same result as zero. What we can do is change it to a really low value, which is not zero, but still above zero. So a value of one will make the camera really slow and have a delay when tracking the target. You can of course also keyframe this value. You can add noise to your transform on the look at actor in the sequencer to give your camera a handheld camera look. Let's create a additive layer and rename it shake. Then right click on the location and add and override with a Perlin noise. Let's increase the amplitude to a higher value, maybe something like 50 on all channels. Adjust the amplitude and frequency to taste. Subtle values gives a gentle handheld shake and higher values uh, creates a more uh, aggressive movement. So now when you play back the shot, the camera will still track the target, but with a natural looking motion. Exactly like if you shot it handheld. And that's it. Using empty actors with the look at feature is one of the easiest ways to control your camera in Unreal Legend 5.5. Naming your cameras and targets like camera 003 and camera 003 underscore 
look at. Keeps your project organized and adding noise in the sequencer gives you that instant handheld look to your footage. If you found this video helpful, you can support me by giving it a like. Maybe hit subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And let me know in the comments what other topics you want me to cover next. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.